welcome back to my channel it's Lou. if you're new welcome to my channel if you guys like what you see which i know you will please make sure you press the subscribe button that's down below as well as the bell notification so you guys are notified every single time that i post a new video now it's been mm, has it been a while since i actually did a sit down video i'm not sure but for today's video as you guys can tell by this title i'm gonna be doing a somewhat i guess you can say get ready with me in a sense but First, what I'm gonna be doing is my hair, and I'm gonna be installing this unit, this bone straight jet black unit. Now, this hair is from my collection. This hair is from my collection, and it's gonna be worn glueless. So I already know that this install is gonna be pretty quick. It's not gonna take that long because I do have to go somewhere. But um, this is how it comes. It comes fully customized um, and everything has already been flat ironed and everything. So when you get it out of the package, it will literally just be ready to go. Um, and also, even if you want the lace to be cut, if you do place an order, just message me through either my email or my ig and just let me know your order number and i can just cut the lace for you so when you do get your unit all you would have to do is literally um put your foundation color underneath um and then just slap it on your head and you're literally ready to go no no fuss no plucking no none of that everything is already done for you so like i said the first thing that i am y'all yeah, see her she, don't play with her okay so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go ahead and just cut off the lace um and as you guys can see the baby hairs is kind of already been been already put on there so i do have to i have to work around the baby hairs which is no problem since i've cut numerous of laces before and even if you haven't cut lace it's pretty simple you literally would just go underneath would go okay I can't really show you guys but you would just go underneath the lace you go you go underneath the lace and underneath the baby hairs and the baby hairs are not stuck to the lace so you can easily just maneuver underneath them and and as you're going underneath them you just carefully cut the lace underneath okay so that's how it looked like and this is how it looks like on the inside for it to be glueless um all the wigs come with adjustable straps which i'm gonna apply right now it's right here i'm gonna apply it right now and it's pretty simple you just clam it on and they also have like combs in there but me personally i don't really like combs but i have them in there just for people who do um and of course as you guys can see the lace is white the lace is white but let me show you guys how it would look like without adding anything not my hair all over the place y'all y'all see that i got some fresh meat is that how you say it meeks minks no meeks meek birdies meek birdies however you say it, but i got some fresh minks and then i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna see how the fit is to see if I have to adjust anything. And so far I don't. Y'all see that? Literally in a few seconds, you could be looking like that girl. And that's on Mary. Okay. Okay, so the place that I have it on is actually perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off since I mean we don't want to be walking around with like our lace looking like this like it look crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my cream foundation you guys seen what I used to use on my head I actually don't use that one anymore I'm currently um testing out one for myself one that I'm gonna be selling on my website which is gonna be like a foundation powder and it's gonna be filled with different colors different colors because i realized that a lot of people like you know when they're on my site they always want to know you know what to use underneath the lace and where to get it so i'm just like why not just cut the hassle and just have it on my website so it could be more more so easier for um when they are trying to you know make sure their late their wigs is laid 
okay and this is how she's looking like she's looking dork she's looking chocolate if you are in a rush you could have just like as you guys can see like she looks good already but me i like to i'm i'm very extra so i like my wigs like extra extra flat even though it is already flat i just like it you know just just a little bit more flatter i see that i don't know if y'all can see the difference i don't know i don't know if y'all can tell but i definitely can tell the difference We're not done. I'm actually gonna go in. Like these baby hairs is cute, but I just wanna um you can leave them like this and or you can use foam, but I am gonna go in with the gods to be. I'm gonna go in with the gods to be, but I'm also going to take some hair out. Well I'm gonna shorten these hairs in the middle. Go ahead, take my guts to be and I'm gonna start swooping these baby ears. Like I said, I'm using the guts to be, but if you wanted to have that more like fluffier look, then I would say go in with the go in with some foam and then just you can wrap it up in a sense if you would like but you don't really have to but if you want to you can just wrap it up so it can be extra extra melted And I'm gonna quickly pass I'm gonna quickly pass this um pass this flat on it. All right, you guys, and we are basically done. My camera just cut off on me, but if honestly, if I did not have to actually record this, this probably would've took me less than 10 minutes to do, but this is how she looks like. She's giving cute. And as long as, if you want it to stay like this, where you can just slap it on your head and go every day, just make sure that when you are when you take it off to make sure you just put it up on a um mannequin head so the next day you can just go on and just slap it on and since the baby hairs are low-key kind of already formed most of the time it's just gonna stay how it is but we'll see but can get the final look